this is madness. She even locked the bathroom door. Uh-oh. Oh, yes. A toilet monster. Hello YouTube, it's Balamore here back again with more Blind Gaming and a new LP for the channel. Hooray, this one's called The Last Days of Lazarus. For the PC of course, I'll leave a link as usual down below in the description to the Steam page where you guys can see this game and check it out for yourselves if you're interested in it before or after the video. As a quick disclaimer, I am blind, I've got no center vision at all, only my peripheral. So if I can do this, you most certainly can do it as well. Let's go check out the storyline real quick on the Steam page, and I'll meet you guys back here. After his mother's suicide, Lazarus returns home to his sister, Lydamelia. I don't really know how to pronounce her name, but unexplained events make the world and even reality collapse around him. Looming death, a spreading malediction, I don't know what that word is, and the supernatural threaten his sanity. Yet Lazarus pushes forward to find the truth about his family. Okay, so that was the story. I'm kind of excited to play this. It looked really, really pretty. This game looks really pretty. Play this on high refresh rate from what I game tested. For YouTube, I do 60 frames a second. 60 hertz, in other words, on the monitor. Jack up the refresh rate and play this game. It's... It is night and day. It is really nice looking. So I can't wait to play this. I haven't played a really good looking game in a while. I mean, I played some good looking games, but this is like really exceptional. YouTube will butcher the quality, but this is 1440p for me. It's looking really good. I think 1440p is technically what, 2K? Before we begin, let's bring in our main host. He's Ancy, the devil himself. Well, hello, Balamore. What you playing, buddy? Last Days of Lazarus. I think this is very religious and demonic, you know. They kind of go together. Well, they do go together. What am I saying? Ah, uh, yes. Where there's angels, there's demons, Balamore. You gotta know that. So you're admitting there's a heaven. Oh, no, I'm not. Hell is heaven, Balamore. That's gonna be your heaven real soon when you kick it. You're not gonna let me die. You need me for these LPs. Otherwise, you're going to be bored in hell. It's just going to be a bad time. Ugh, you're right. The missus really is on my back all the time. Meh, 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 meh. You know, you need to watch what you say. She might hear this. Oh, yeah, that's true. Oh, I mean, uh, she's such a delight to be with. <laughs> yeah, you're really bad at doing that. How are you thousands of years old and... You're really bad at dealing with women. How dare you, mortal? You're just a meat puppet beneath my feet. Don't talk to me like you're my equal. Damn it, boy. So, uh, last days of Lazarus. Are you gonna die in this game? I don't know. It should be spooky. It looked really good. I can't wait to, to play it. Lots of blood. Blood? Speaking of blood, let me sprinkle a little extra innocent Christian blood on this popcorn. You and that damn popcorn. Oh, you know it, boy. All right, gonna be... Gonna be eating good. Are we doing any more LPs tonight after this? Uh, I think this is the last one. I'm getting tired. Aw, little human and his mortal sleep. How, how cute. I don't need to sleep. I'm the alphaist of all males, Balmore. The biggest a man meets. When I stand in front of a urinal, the porcelain shatters. You're really compensating there, aren't you? I don't know what that means, but I, I bet it means a big p. No. Well, I'm going to pretend it did, because if I knew what it really meant, ho, 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 you'd be going downstairs real quick. All right, well, you good to go? Yeah, I'm good to go. I just want to see some demons. I don't know. I'm sure there will be something. Anyways, guys, without further ado, let's do this. Lazarus? Yes? Who is this? Listen, you have to come home. Ludmilla, what happened? It's mom. She... She's dead. What? What the hell are you talking about? She hanged herself. God damn it. Are you telling me the truth? You think I lie about such a thing? She's dead as Lazarus. 
she's hanging by a rope in the closet, and oh my god, I'm so scared. It's dark and raining, and, and I'm all by myself. What do I do? What do you do? Why the hell did you call me in the first place? Call the damn police or an ambulance. Please tell me you'll come home. I can't come home right now. What? What the hell do you mean? You have to come home. Our mother is dead and you just... Listen, I can't. Not now. I have a job and it's not the sort of thing I can walk away from. The hell is with your job? You left me and mom just as father did. You're a selfish bastard. Listen, if I could, I would come right away. But I really can't. I'll be home by Christmas, okay? No, it's not okay at all. You have to come at once. I can't wait that long. I'm all by myself here. Why can't you understand? I'm sorry. Hi. Lazarus? No. No! What do I do? You bastard! This old place I left when I turned 16. I didn't miss it. Why the hell didn't I just come to the funeral? That last job was a mess. And now, I need to lay low for a while. I hope at least my sister will forgive me. I should have brought some flowers. She must be expecting me. Aside from going to work, she never leaves the apartment. Ludmila? I'm home. So that's how you say her name, Ludmila. I couldn't pronounce it when I was reading it. Well, this looks actually very homey. It's very cramped, though. Now, it does, it's not running buttery smooth, but trust me, when you put up the frame rate, it is gorgeous. It really is. It's buttery smooth then. So I don't know if this was designed at a high frame rate and it was never optimized for 60, but, uh, you know, play it for yourselves, trust me. Let me turn up the volume, actually. This is the place where my mother took her life. Well, this is where she hung herself? Oh, God. Can I zoom? There's no zoom. We got a tricycle. I think that's supposed to be Mother Mary. So the mother was religious and she killed herself. That's, what is that thing? Is that a light bulb? All right, we got a light bulb, pictures, got incense burning. I think that's a Catholic thing. It feels very Catholic. Oh, I can leave? Oh, maybe I changed my mind. This is, the graphics look so good. Okay, let's see here. Oh, I see. So here's the notes. There's five of them. Okay. Okay, so this is a note from Ludmilla saying that she went to the cemetery and left the door unlocked for me. She'll see me maybe tonight. She's debating on taking a train and just getting out of here. She hates this place now after her mom died. Okay. Very cool. What do we got here? Hmm. Strange. <laughs> it just looks like a... Almost like a Bible, but uh, maybe it is. Maybe it's just... It's not in the entire Bible because it's not a lot of words per page. Yeah, Mom was Catholic. That's for sure. I wonder why she killed herself. It is interesting. Whoa. Oh, we live in an apartment building. That's what I always hated about living in an apartment. It's locked. Oh, that's right. I think this game came out December 24th of 2021. What a pretty Christmas tree. God, that looks so good. Often called a dictator, the new president has won the people's vote of confidence through unprecedented measures. In his latest speech, he announced the increase of the minimum wage by 70%.
for millions of 70 percent turn to feasts as the increased income brings a complete life change for them the measure has also put an end to the protests organized by the opposition who are still outraged by another decision by the president closing the borders as you may know the decision was taken earlier this month and as a consequence no one can leave the country without given permission oh Increasing the minimum wage by 70% can mean for our country that just came out of the communist regime a total disaster. Nobody knows where this money will come from, who will work for this money, what will happen to the population after almost doubling our income. These are questions we should all try to answer. And there's another problem that personally reminds me of the practices of the communist regime. The requirement to declare each trip outside the city as well as its exact purpose. This is absolutely unacceptable. It is a well-known practice that has been imposed on us for almost half a century. We have to be free. We wanted this. And for a while it seemed we got it. Now what are we doing? We want to go back? If we restrict our freedom of movement, then it means we are facing a real problem. As we all know, the front... Okay, I don't think that... Often called a dictator. I don't think there's going to be anything else that we're going to learn. Let's see here. Oh. Got a camera. Oh wow. I'll let you guys read that. I'm I'll do that in editing. I'm not gonna read all that for the camera. Very cool. Alright, nothing there. My mother always said she'd like to die listening to the ticking of this clock. But in the end. She hanged herself in the storage closet. Yeah, that is weird. There's got to be a reason. God, that tree looks so good. Ludmilla did a good job. I think it's the year 2000 I saw in the beginning. Interesting. Oh. Yeah, this is depressing. So, this is a note from the mother. Just, it's like a diary entry. So she was typing it out. She's so lonely. I guess the father left to join the monastery as a monk. And she doesn't understand why. Nobody's talking to her about like the pastor who knows the father. Um, nobody's telling her anything. And she just misses the husband. Yeah, how sad. That's interesting. That's a family, huh? This looks cozy. Quite a lot of pills. Mom had a disturbing addiction to painkillers. Ludmilla should have thrown them away. So what do we got to do here? Oh, there's a chest. I don't see anything. Damn it. Oh. I should find a new light bulb. Oh, I know where the light bulb is. Oh, what's this? Those religious depictions make me feel uncomfortable. Yeah, it is weird, isn't it? They're all over the place. Oh, there's another note. Um, in, in the note, too, it was saying, you, basically, I don't just hang um, religious icons all over for nothing. I don't burn incense all day for nothing. It's her faith. Let's make sure these pictures are... Uh, all right. Clicked everything. Oh, this is really sad. So it's a letter from Lazarus's mom pleading to him to come home and not leave them alone like the father did. Uh, that's a lot to bear. Uh, we're after a... I think you. Yes, indeed. Couldn't click that before I tried. There we go. Oh. How clever. The key was, uh, it was hidden in the darkness. I think that says hallway key. Oh, there we go. Checkpoint. Oh, I got another letter. Well, let's read it. Okay, so this is a letter from mom talking about how mad she is because the daughter goes out of the house and has been talking to the 
the priest who she was mad at because the priest told her she's basically too crazy and she needs to stop, you know, blasting her house full of religious artifacts. And she's trying to make a monastery in her house, basically, so the father will come home. She's definitely having a mental breakdown. Um, she's taking the loss very, very hard. So, but they want to get her in psychiatric treatment. And we all know how that went. The only photo of mom and dad together. They look like a mom and dad, that's for sure. Me, back in the day. <laughs> Me, back in the day. Anything behind the picture? My little sister, Ludmilla. Oh, how cute. We got a doll. I was thinking they were... They had some money, but... No, it's just plant. The, the place is just decorated. I like the Christmas decorations. That's so cool. I can't go in there. And we got over here. Oh, you can see us. Can we? Oh, cool. There we go. There's a... Oh, get a little light there. That's really cool. My trench coat moves. Very cool. All right. I like this. It's locked. Oh, what's this? Is that water damage? I think it is. It looks like black mold. What the hell is this? There's the train key. No description on it. Just kind of... It's kind of there. Very cool, though. That's locked. That is not locked. Hmm. It's locked, but I see a dim light coming from inside. What is this? Like a closet or something? Well, oh, this is the only place we can go. And hey, Mr. Kitty. How you doing? You look a little rough, old boy. I hate to break this to you, but you fit perfectly in this old, decrepit place. No, oh, he's, he's purring. Yeah, that's enough. Oh, he doesn't want to get pet again. How on earth can you eat this thing? It looks like it stood here for days. The stench is overwhelming. What the hell, Ludmilla? <laughs> we'll investigate the rest in a second. Hello? Lazarus, you finally arrived. Yes, a few moments ago. I thought you'd be home. Where are you? I'm beside her mother. Are you still at the cemetery? You should hurry up and catch a bus or else... Don't worry, I can handle it on my own. Listen, I brought you money. Enough to start a new life somewhere else. I want you to know that I am very sorry. There's no need to be sorry. I have forgiven you already, Lazarus. We all make mistakes from time to time. I have my own sense. Oh, thank you. Listen, you should hurry up. It's cold and dark already. By the way, where are you calling from? Ludmilla? Are you still there? Ooh. Hello? I have a feeling she's not behind me. <laughs> she's not there. Yeah, this isn't reality. I have a feeling something's weird. It sounds like you're singing in church. Interesting. So you got Catholic music playing all the time, all the religious stuff. That's a lot to deal with, especially if you're not religious. You know, the daughter's probably hating it. That, that's cool. This is really cool. Christmas time. I know they were saying the end of the world was 2000. So maybe that was like an inspiration for making this game. Oh, here's the last note. Now it looks like this is a note of abandonment, you know, from Lazarus. Oh, let's see. Anything in the cupboards? I think I've inspected everything. I don't know what to do now. 
My sister seems to be lazier than me. Yeah, that's pretty lazy. So I understand that we have five more minutes. Okay, let's talk about Father Abraham. Oh. All right? Everyone knows him, but not everyone knows about his past. This is important because you, you'll certainly meet him. Dear fellow citizens, just by looking out the window, we can all see the church where this individual serves. That blue building with the golden roof that cost us, the taxpayers, a fortune. This man, as I will not call him a priest, started his spiritual life somewhere in England as a Roman Catholic priest far from Romania's now defunct communist regime. Forty years ago, dear listener, his name was on everyone's lips. During that time, a series of uncertain but scandalous events took place in his life, culminating with the death of his own son. Some of you may not know that the Roman Catholic priests are not allowed to get married, but you know what he did? He had an affair with a woman, and she ended up killing herself after. How convenient. Now about the son. At that time, the press said the boy was just the victim of a car accident. Again, how convenient. After giving up the priestly clothing of the Roman Catholic Church, Abraham moved to Romania, where he discovered Eastern Orthodox Christianity and chose the path of monasticism. He is now, as you may know, a hieromonk. That is, I understand, both a monk and a priest, being highly appreciated by the faithful. Yet again, what a convenient turn of events. Don't you see a pattern? This man sure knows. I guess that'll go on and on. Anything else? This is a sign that the world is coming to an end. The return of our Lord Jesus Christ is nigh. Many say this is conspiracy, but I swear it is not. I would know better. I worked at the Research Institute of Meteorological Phenomena in Bucharest, and I'm very familiar with these things. Furthermore, I have an advantage over these scientists who are incredibly arrogant. I believe in God. Yes, I am a faithful man, a faithful scientist, a man of God. I know you may think it's an exaggeration, but God has given me the gift of seeing beyond the material world. This electrical storm is not what it seems. If it were simple lightning, then it should be accompanied by thunder, as we all know. Instead, the sky is silent. Silent as a grave. These are not mere lightning storms, as these scientists and the government would have you believe. This is actually the wrath of God. Okay, so we got a bunch of end of the world programs. Anything else? Lately, there have been some extreme weather anomalies completely unusual for the winter season. Frequent thunderous lightning during heavy snowfall. The weather predictions for this Christmas are also bizarre. Heat waves coming over the Carpathian Mountains were detected last week and are expected to cause heavy rainfall. The Romanian authorities are taken by surprise. Their greatest fear is that rural areas will be severely affected. The massive deforestation from the So I am. Okay, so that's it. Uh, that was cool. I wanted to listen to that because I knew it was going to give some lore. So you got Father Abraham. A lot of people hate and love him. And he lives in that church, huh? I think it's this one. Cool. Is he evil? And then, you know, it's very, everything's so religious, so Jesus Christ is coming back. I, I highly doubt that's the case. Where do we go now? What the hell is that? Wait a minute. Is that a thing there too? Oh, 
it is, isn't it? Yeah, that's like a monster. On the porch. What are you? What the hell was that? That's a straight up demon. That's what that is. Earthquake? Oh, let's see if it calms down. Okay, there it goes. And the, the dust was coming off the ceiling, so it was a real earthquake. Yeah, this is the end of the world, huh? I know they talk about the president. Is this supposed to be the Antichrist? I like this. I just played a game called Evil Seal. I did the demo for it. I have the full game. Um, and that was the end of the world as well. Let's see. Oh, here we go. What the hell is that? There are cracks on this wall. And a foul stench is coming from behind. Ooh. So that happened with the earthquake, huh? The wall cracked? Oh, what is it? This is madness. She even locked the bathroom door. Uh oh. Oh, yes. A toilet monster. What the hell is this thing? Am I losing my mind? What the devil was that? I should call the police right away. What the devil is that? I like the voice actors are actually very good. They're putting emotion into it. Speaking very clearly. Call the police. Hello, what's your emergency? You need to send someone. There's a creature in my bathroom. A hideous monster. Something like... Sir, please calm down and try to speak louder. I can't speak louder. The thing is right next to me. Just behind the door. There's a horrible thing there. The earthquake must have caused it to come out. It's sticking out of the toilet, and there's there's black stuff smeared on the walls. Please send someone. Okay, I'm going to ask you to calm down and back away from the door. Try to arm yourself with a knife if possible. Are you kidding? It's a bloody monster. How would a knife oh, help? Oh, look at the door. Damn you. Just send someone. Oh, God. It's happening again. Please calm down. You are not the only emergency. There are reports from all over the city about abnormal activities and strange occurrences. You are not our first priority. No, no, he hung Damn up. You. you are not our, uh, you're not number one on the priority list, buddy. No one's coming. Well, let's see if this calms down. This is really cool, though. last in quite a while all right let's just move i don't think it's gonna end is that demon back here i don't know what that was but that was cool oh screaming Open this damned door. Okay. Freaking demon in the closet. What the hell is that? Oh, the earthquake stopped. It's like the earthquake is based off what I'm going through. That is an awesome animated book. That must be hallucinating. It's a church burning. This is rather disturbing. The monastery. I'm not staying here any longer. I'm going out to Ludmila at the cemetery. And then we'll go straight to a motel. To hell with this damned place. I left the apartment immediately. 
I drove on the muddy roads towards the Kalima region, where my mother was buried. I was overwhelmed by an unexplainable rush of anxiety, fearing for my sister's safety. The decision to close the country's borders has sparked controversy, especially among ordinary people. The fact that only rich citizens with political connections seem to have access to documents that would allow them to leave the country at any time has enraged the public opinion. For those less fortunate, it seems the only way to obtain the needed papers is through illegal means, for large sums of money paid to unscrupulous profiteers who know the right pockets to Greece. Concerns have been expressed by many that such restrictions imposed by the new Wait government a are a That's the bus that should have brought Ludmilla home. Uh-oh. Oh, God. There were burnt corpses inside, unrecognizable. My God, Ludmilla, are you still alive? I don't know. She might be. Then again, there was a demon taken on her form in the apartment. Probably to mess with me. Oh man, look at this car. How was I driving that? There's the burning bus. Yeah, there's lightning everywhere. Look at this. Those are warplanes. What the hell's going on? That is pretty awesome, though. Yeah, it's so weird, end of the world kind of thing. I like it. Now, I think that book was an omen of the monastery burning, like it was foretold. I'm walking on purpose. I don't want to miss anything. What on earth happened to this place? Is that a battleship? Is that a city line? No, that's a battleship. Is it burning? Huh. I oh, got some something religious being torched. Uh oh. Dead person. Lies. This looks like a New World Order speech. This is weird. So this person died, alright. Can I get that gun? Oops. I guess C opens that as well. I'm trying to crouch, but I can't. Oh, there's the burning monastery. I need this gun. I really need it. And it's not shown in... I don't know what it was. Okay, I'll read this in editing, but the title says that this General Zoltov is a monster. So I wonder who General Z I wonder if he's on that battleship causing this. Got a generator hooked up to a tank. Is that a New World Order flag? Looks like a generator that is connected to the tank. It doesn't seem to work, though. Probably out of gas. I think you're alive. Can you hear me? What the hell happened here? Listen, can you hear me? Have you seen a young girl near the cemetery? They have slaughtered us. We must sink that cursed battle cruiser. What? Listen, I can't... There's a terminal down there that will remotely control this tank. Go and activate it. I cannot get involved in this. Listen, you selfish idiot. That girl is probably dead if she was caught in the crossfire. But something far more terrible is afoot. A demented maniac is on a rampage of slaughtering innocent people. If you sink the cruiser, we may all still have a chance to live. Do something good while there's still time. I wonder if their whole point was to blow up the monastery and kill all the monks. Do you have a note near you? Give me your weapon. I definitely need your weapon, buddy. Alright, let's keep going. I wanted some gunplay. Can't pick that up. 
Oh. I don't know what that is. Like, parts. I wonder if it's to run the, uh, the tank. There's a October 23rd on the bottom. All right, so I think October 23rd is a date that this general um, emerged onto the scene, but I'll read this in editing. And just, the title actually just sums it up, so that's probably better. Help me move a little faster in this game. I like reading, but these long notes, eh, that church burn, or monastery. Yeah, freaking war. This is very anti-Christy. This is legit war. I know. That looks really cool. Grory? What does that say? It says CRBR4, I believe. In Greece. I don't know what that's for, but this is a note about the lightning. Which I will read in editing. Alright. Another well, stairway. That's probably important right there. Let's check out the stairway. No, there's no getting up there. Now, did that soldier say there was a bunker? I wonder if the bunker is in here. I like it. It's very interesting. Oh, there's something there. If you guys want to read that, you can pause. What does that say? The icon of Christ or something like that? I couldn't catch it. It's so quick. Oh. That's a bunker. Cool. We gotta blow that battleship up. Man, look at this. Hmm. Yeah, we don't need it right now. Is anyone there? It's me, the soldier on the beach. Right, I'm down in some shelter. Good job. Seems you still have a heart. Bastards. They told us we were coming here to free the monks. But when we got here, they ordered us to kill them all. Who could we? But there isn't much time left. See that terminal beside you? controls the tank you've seen on the beach. I see it. There must be a way to connect to the tank. There's a password somewhere. One of the dead soldiers had it. Maybe he wrote it on one of his notes. When you find it, type it in the terminal and follow the instructions. I understand. But listen, why don't you do such a thing? What? I can't hear you. They're probably listening to our conversation. Just hurry up. Oh, damn. Okay. Alright. Click. Press tab. Okay, so we have CR, BR4, or October 23rd. Let's try that. CR. Okay, it wasn't that. I bet it's October 23rd. Damn fuel well let's go do this uh oh they're bombing god oh that, that would have just killed me okay we gotta run get over Oh god, I shouldn't have stopped. I saw a light. Right. It's not a good idea to here from you. No, no, it's not. Go, 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 go. Is 
like the coat blowing in the wind. That is really, really, really good. All right. Press control. that damn cruiser is this even working are you still alive you've done it the cruiser is sinking great job yay we did it it must have been an hour since the explosion I woke up and tried to find a way out my knees were shaking Outside, desolation filled the air. I wasn't sure anymore if that was snow around me or was it ashes. I managed to escape to my car, but Ludmila was nowhere to be found. I barely made it home alive. My back hurts like hell. It is not true, all right? They are trying to lure you into believing this nonsensical conspiracy. They are fanatics. Who in their right mind would believe that in this day and age someone would want to exterminate the community of defenseless monks? Seriously, there is scientific proof that in the Colima region there are surges of methane gas leaking from the ground almost each year. The huge explosions were caused by the gas suddenly catching fire, not because of a military action. I know that some would like to believe that a Norwegian society is upon us, but that is simply not the truth. What the hell? So they're trying to cover it up. And I almost got myself killed out there. I'm not even sure if what I did was, after all, the right thing to do. And I have no idea how to find Ludmilla or if something happened to her. Poor Ludmilla. Oh, wait, wait a minute. That's the train key. I don't see a use command. Do I just click it? That looks awesome. <laughs> the hell is that? It's like a scroll. That say something phylactery? That is weird. All right, I I can't like read it. Oh, here's a note. All right, Lumilla dreamed of a day she'd be free of this nightmare. This is about Ludmilla. Okay, what else? Nothing with the TV. Damn it. All these pills must have interfered with my sister's mental health. Yeah, that and the suicide. She's living in the house where mom committed suicide. Looks like the old factory has been reopened. Well, that must be important. Yeah, and this is like Lumilla, Ludmilla not really holding on anymore. She, her mental health is, is going. All right. I'll have to read them in detail when I'm editing. Our mother always had something mysterious in her eyes. I'm locked in the bedroom. It's weird. It's an abnormal amount of pills. Oh. Why do all the doors need to be locked in this house? Hello? Lud Miller? Um, no. This is Lazarus. I'm her brother. Mr. Lazarus? Oh, thank God you answered. My name is Laura. I'm a journalist at the local newspaper. But don't worry, I didn't call to ask any uncomfortable questions. That's good to know. And why did you call? You see, I'm a friend of your sister's. We got close after your mother's death, but I haven't been able to get a hold of her for a while now. What do you mean? She hasn't been answering the phone. I came to her apartment the other day and found the entrance door open. I entered, but there was no sign of her. Only the living room was open. The rest of the apartment was locked up. Is she with you now? No. I talked to her on the phone a few hours ago. She said she was at the cemetery. What? That makes no sense. 
Why would she go to the cemetery at this hour? It's outside the city, plus the whole place was turned upside down by General Dotov. Listen, Mr. Lazarus, I'll drop by to discuss this right away. We need to find out what happened to her. Let's hope I can trust her. Well, hello there, Mr. Kitty. Mr. Fuzzy Britches. You're all right in all this, aren't you? Yeah, it's just another day in the neighborhood for you. Yeah, that's right. You just clean yourself off. All right, we don't... Look at the... Wait a minute. That's intestine stuff. The Moonsters are here. It looks pretty all right in there. And this door's got extra mold and blood on it. This damn door won't open. Uh oh, we're gonna pile drive it. Whoa! Hello, friends. Where are those things coming from? Damn it! I'm stuck in this place. Those aren't bed bugs. Those are uh, something else. I don't know what I'd want more. Bed bugs? You guys know what bed bugs are? Really know what they are? You might want what you're seeing in front of you right now over a bed bug infestation. They look like they're having fun. Yeah, you're not toilet monsters at all. You're cute. You're cute. I don't know what you're trying to eat, though. All right, we're not going that way. Oh, this is open now. Oh, Ludmilla. Let's take a look, though, before we go. Ludmilla? I didn't know you were home. Oh, God. I was afraid I lost you. Help! Help! Lazarus, help! Stay calm. We need to get to the closest... Earth is that? Oh no. Oh, what the devil? Oh my god. Stay back. Just look away. Alright guys, so that was the last days of Lazarus. Don't forget down below in the description is a link to the Steam page where you can check this game out for yourselves. I believe this was free. Don't quote me though. I didn't look ahead of time. Satan, what did you think of this game, buddy? Oh no, I'm going to save my review. Oh, you don't want to spoil it? Nope. I'm going to share it when I do my review. That's all I got to say. Okay, you're excited looking though. You like end of the world things. As a potential antichrist. Shut up, boy. You wait for my review. Okay, all right. Well, I really enjoyed this game. And again, if you're going to play this, do a high refresh rate. But yeah, what a game. That looked really nice. And it had such an interesting story. I know a lot of people are like, oh, it was so dumb. But being a Christian, I've got like, I understand how revelations is supposed to play out in the bible at least an idea in my head and this is kind of a nice little twist sprinkled on reality but this really wasn't reality it was very supernatural but i liked it really cool beautifully drawn animations it was just great i love the books that you know had the fire and the monastery burning i like the spooky monsters they were really cool looking and just an overall cool little game well you know that's enough of me and my babbling because none of that really matters all that matters is what satan thinks of the lp Right, all right. The part of the LP where Satan himself does a review of what we just did. I can't wait to give my review. <laughs> yeah, and if you're not familiar with the rules, game developers pucker the buttholes because on a scale of 1 to 10, if you get a 4.0 or below, you, anyone that helped you on this game in any way, shape, or form, along with your soul and the game itself, will be dragged to hell for all eternity, much torturing. 
much torturing. <laughs> He's not joking. It'll happen. But if you get above a four, congratulations, you get to live for a little longer. Yeah, don't go promising anything you can't keep. I'm the one that makes the decisions. I'm the deity, the alphaist being of all, the biggest of man meats. The biggest of thimbles, you mean? How dare you, boy. You know, me and you later, you're a real big talker here when you're doing a little LP. Later? Oh, you're gonna get it so bad, boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, well, let's begin, shall we? Okay, the last days of Lazarus. I give it a review score of... Eight point five. That is an eight point five Balmore. Very respectable. That was really respectable. Why only eight point five? I'm surprised just from looking at you, what you thought of this game. I was gonna swear a nine. Oh, that would have been the case, no problem. But you did not die. Remember how important it is for me to see your innocent Christian blood spray all over the place? It would have been very ideal for the monsters insta kill you or something. But unfortunately, it was more of a enjoy the story kind of horror game. I liked it though, don't get me wrong, I really enjoyed my end of the world, antichrists, the psychotic general, cover-ups, supernatural, it was just good. But yes, if you died, it would have bumped it up probably to a 9, and the game ran a little janky, but that really wasn't that bad. It, it was not that bad. And I saw you playtest this, uh, come to think of it, and it looked really good. So I'm going to forgive the optimization, but not the deaths. I need to see you die, boy. That's what makes my clock tick. <laughs> I'm sure maybe in the full game you'll be able to die. I hope the full game comes out. So what do you think? They gonna live indefinitely because it's a potential full game? Oh yeah, I'm definitely letting these developers live. Good job, game developers. You better be making a full game if you're not even working on it. Oh, I'm gonna get you tonight. You'll be going right to hell with me tonight. That, that'd be an insult. Make something like this and don't continue. That would be irritating, and you don't want to be irritating me, the Dark One. I'll be coming for you, pittering around in the shadows, looking, watching, waiting. And believe me, after me and Balamore are done here, I'm coming for you. Oh, he's not lying. I... I could see the look in his eye. That's the eye of the tiger right there. You got anything else to say about the game? No, I'm good. Can I do the outro this time? You've been bogarting it on me. Absolutely. All right, I'll let Satan sign us out. All right, well, hold on. I need my outro voice. <coughs> balls drop, balls drop, manly, manly, balls drop. <coughs> I'm all man. <coughs> balls drop, manly, manly, balls drop. Thank you guys so much for watching. We truly appreciate you. Actually, Balamore truly appreciates you watching the videos. It makes me happy if Balamore is happy, because if he isn't happy, oh, they'll be hell to pay there, people. So I hope to see you. You will be on the next one. I don't hope to see you <laughs> for your soul's sake. Until next time, guys, as always, Devil out.